But I did spend a, a nice amount of time speaking with a DME out in California. He happened to stumble across the channel. What is going on, everybody? It is Bryce, your favorite AMP IA and Part 147 instructor, back with another video. And today I'm going to be kind of doing an update on what you should study and what you should be studying for your oral and practical test to become an aircraft mechanic at the DME. So I wanted to make this video and update this video because since the last video that I filmed, under the PTS standards, some things have changed and what DMEs are asking and how the test is given has changed a little bit. So I will review that um, before I get um, too far into it. However, the important things to know is that under the ACS system, your written test is now generated by third party, PSI exams, who is who you registered for your written test through for the first place, or sorry, in the first place. But when you register to take, or when you schedule with the DME, they will generate a test from PSI and randomly select questions based on your written scores. Now I've heard of people who got as little as seven questions for general and 11 questions for airframe. And I've heard people who got as many as 26 questions because they didn't do as well. The important thing to know is that your oral questions are going to be more based on that. Also to review, you will be able to fail 70%, sorry, you will be able to fail 30% of your practical tasks. So if there are 10 practical tasks, you are, you are allowed to fail three of them. However, uh, the oral questions that you will be asked during your practical test, because I, I do keep getting asked this, those oral questions you can look up. So you go through all your oral sections for general, you go through all your oral sections for airframe, you start the practical project, you're doing a practical project, the DME is going to ask you two oral questions related to that project that you are working on. Those are open book and you can look those questions up, which I, I, I do recommend that you do. The other thing that I would like to talk about is this. I have spoke to a couple of different DMEs and people keep asking me, what should I study? What should I study? What should I study? I have got a couple questions about where are the DME is getting the new oral questions from, where are the new oral questions coming from, and so on and so forth. The FAA has put out a new set of 8083 textbooks. They are the 8083-Bs. We are jokingly saying that it stands for Band-Aid. Uh, the official 8083 with all of the revised and updated oral questions, the 8083-C, we're jokingly calling that the corrected 8083 textbooks will come out later in October. Now, I believe the dash B's do have some of the oral questions in, in the back of the chapters. I could be wrong. Don't quote me on that 100%. Uh, but I am still telling people, you know, study Jeppesen, study Prepware or ASA. They're really very similar. The 8083 typical oral questions, they're all really very similar. They're just word worded a bit differently and there may be one or two extras added here and there. However, when the 8083-C comes out, they will have the new oral questions in the 8083-C textbooks. So keep an eye out for that if you're not testing until December, but if you're trying to test right now, it, it is it is gonna be a little bit tougher for you. And I, I do apologize for that. That's just the way it's going. But I did spend a, a nice amount of time speaking with a DME out in California. He happened to stumble across the channel and he has an entire Facebook page on this. Now I'm, I'm doing my best to create a community and a, and a place where people can talk about the test and the testing process what it looks like and how it goes and better understand what to study and how to pass. Um, and he's kind of already done that. He has a Facebook page. I believe it's called Stash Air, S-T-A-C-H-E Air. Um, I will share it down below in the description. So look in the description to click that link. I already asked him if, if he was cool with me sharing it on my YouTube and, and he is. But you know, we had this conversation talking about the oral test and some of the changes. And of course, you know, my opinion is this, study as much as you can, especially if you have the time. Study Jeppesen, study ASA, study the back of the 8083 oral test guides, like study it all. It's not going to hurt you. If the question's the same, choose the one that you like the most from whatever and, and study that one and learn that one. And I think you will be just fine. So that's gonna do it for this video, guys. I realize it's a little short. Um, stay, tuned, st stay tuned in the future. Uh, for more videos on these topics. I do have some more videos coming your way for the Cessna 172 project, the Velocity, some more videos about testing, um, some more of my typical aviation content. Content. I wanted to remind you to go ahead and check out the merch store down below, buy yourself a coffee cup, uh, a shirt or something. It helps generate revenue for the channel. I've had one or two orders come through, which is, is really great. It makes my heart smile. Um, it helps generate revenue for the channel. The more revenue I generate, the more often I can start doing giveaways. I would like to do a few more of those. 
in the future. Of course, your view helps, your like helps, your comment helps, and your subscription if you subscribe. All of that helps, but don't ever feel obligated. So I'm gonna go ahead and see you all out here. Thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. As always, go build something and be easy.